most of the students who come to me and they ask me that they don't know what is IELTS. So today this video is for those who don't know anything about IELTS. So watch this video very carefully. I'm giving you all the information about IELTS, all the details. So let's start. So first is what is IELTS? IELTS is International English Language Testing System. This is a, a language proficiency test. I mean, they check what is your, your level of English and what kind of English uh, you have in all the four sections. That is reading, reading, writing, listening and speaking. Now, uh, why to take IELTS? Why to give this exam? What is the reason behind it? Uh, there are two reasons uh, behind it. Mostly one important reason is study abroad. If you want to go to foreign country, uh, any other foreign country for education, then you have to give this exam for to study abroad for any course for doing your undergraduation or post graduation. This is one reason for giving IELTS. Second important reason is for job. If you are going abroad for job, I mean, uh, or you want to immigrate there, you want a PR permanent residentship, you can give this exam. So these are the two reasons why IELTS exam is given. Okay. Now, uh, who conducts IELTS? IELTS is uh, actually designed by Cambridge University and it is jointly managed by IDP Australia and British Council. <coughs> British Council, sorry. British Council means uh, Britain. Okay. This country that is Australia and British Council, they jointly organize this exam. As far as India is concerned, there are many test centers available throughout India. And this exam is organized by uh, IDP and British Council. Now, types of IELTS. Actually, there are two types of IELTS. Okay. Uh, first type, as I said, the purpose. What is the purpose? If you are going for study, if you are going for doing any course, then you have to go for academic IELTS. Okay. If you want to get admission in, in college or into university, then you have to give the academic module of IELTS. Second. If you're going for job or immigration, then you have to go for general uh, IELTS. This is for immigration purpose or if you want a PR there. So these are the two type of IELTS which uh, are available uh, before uh, enrolling for IELTS, before deciding for IELTS, uh, uh, before deciding which IELTS you want to give, you have to see, uh, you know, you have to go and visit the website on that particular uh, college or university where you want to take admissions and see that which kind of IELTS is required. Is it academic IELTS or general IELTS? Most of the students are confused in that. So first do detailed analysis, do detailed study of that and then decide which IELTS you want to give. Now another thing is uh, what the test. I mean in short the general test pattern what exactly it is. Uh, first the test is overall as I told you your English proficiency will be tested. What is your English proficiency? What is your command over English? What level of English you have? Uh, how uh, easily you can uh, speak English, read English, write English and understand English. So one is called as the receptive or uh, the passive uh, English they check. Uh, how do you receive English? I mean receive means what? Do you understand English that is tested through listening? Okay. And again receptive means whatever you read do you understand? Do you receive properly? That is called as a receptive uh, way of English. That is reading skills are tested. Second is your productive way. Okay. Or it's also called as active way. Okay? It's also called as active way. Active way. Active means what? Now, right now I'm speaking actively. So speaking is tested. How easily you can communicate. Next is your writing skill. How easily you can write English. Uh, that English which is easy to understand, that English uh, which is grammatically correct with good vocabulary and all those. All those details you will see in my another video. <clears throat> Just subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. You will get all those videos about IELTS in detail. Okay. Now let us move forward and the next most important uh, section is difference between, as I told you, two type of IELTS is there, general IELTS, general IELTS and academic IELTS. So what's the difference between them? Well, actually uh, difference is there are two sections which are common actually and difference lies in writing and reading. In 
common sections like listening listening is a common section in listening uh, the time is 30 minutes and 10 minutes extra to transfer your answers all the details of listening i will give you in my another videos this is just an introduction about ilts speaking session is from 11 to 12 minutes so around 11 to 12 minutes you have to speak okay so well this is about uh, speaking now the another two sections are different actually uh, in in case of uh, if you take academics and general writing is different okay but let me tell you the general pattern of writing uh, this is 20 minutes for 150 word essay you have to write 150 word essay and another is 40 minutes uh, which is a 250 word essay okay now this is same this is same for general and academics okay now this is the common and this is the these are the different sections okay now what is the difference actually what is the exact difference if you take writing section in writing in case of academic academic writing you have to write a summary summary means what uh, of course 150 words you have to write you have to write they will give you one graph they will give you a table or a pie chart or a flow chart you have to read that you have to understand that and you have to summarize it you have to write all the important details all the important changes which you see in the graph or whatever the diagram is given to you in under uh, 200 that is between 150 to 200 words now uh, in case of general uh, of course 150 word word limit is there uh, letter writing will be there in letter writing you will be asked to write a formal letter a formal letter or a semi-formal letter okay the word limit is 150 to 200 words i will give you all the details uh, in other videos also another thing is in reading okay in reading if you see that there will be three passages given to you and 40 questions sorry overall 40 questions will be there and time will be one hour as as i have said here time is one hour in general uh, if you take uh, they will give more general topics right for example like everyday day-to-day -day situations just now in the afternoon i was solving one uh, general ilts uh, writing tasks and in that the topic was uh, you know uh, what we should do uh, when there is an earthquake this is a general topic okay some some precautionary measures we have to take and how we have to protect ourselves these are the simple common topics which are given to you in general reading section for ilts of course this section is easier than compared to academic ilts okay compared to but it's not that easy it's compared to academic is a bit more difficult because uh, they will give you more educational topics for example uh, use of technology in sports so such kind of Educational topics will be uh, coming, will, will appear in academic ILTS. So it is somewhat difficult compared to general ILTS. Okay. So friends, this is all about uh, ILTS. In this way, ILTS exam is conducted. Uh, hope uh, all of you understand this. And uh, definitely, if you have any doubt uh, regarding this, uh, regarding ILTS, please uh, comment in the comment section below. I will definitely answer all your questions. Okay. Thank you friends for watching my video and take care of yourself. Goodbye.